Okay, this is a video to tell students that they can use their TI-30X2S calculator to find the average and standard deviation of a given data set. So I looked up these instructions online, and let me walk you through how you would do this. So I've actually used another program to find the average and standard deviation. You can see this is a printout from an Excel spreadsheet. So let me show you how you could use your calculator to do this. So this is a statistics function. We are going to be using this data key and this stat var key and also um, the stat and exit stat button above here. Okay, so first I have to get all of this data into my calculator. So I want to turn the stat mode on. So you have to hit second and hit the data key. And we're just doing one variable computations here, so I'm going to hit enter. And you can see down here in the display it now says stat. I'm now going to hit the data key, and this is where I'm going to enter my data. So x1 just means what's the first variable in your list. So I have 63 in my list. Oops, I think I hit enter too soon. I wanted to hit down arrow next. Now frequency, how often does 63 occur? Well, if I already had my data in a frequency table, I might just go ahead and say 2 and be done with it. I'm not going to bother to make a frequency table here, so I'm going to skip over all the frequencies by arrowing past it. So my next piece of data is 72, and I'll hit the down arrow twice to get to my third piece of data. Okay, so let me quickly enter these values. Now you can see there'd still be an advantage to doing this on Excel, which is if you had a lot of data, you can do it a lot quicker on Excel, and you're probably less likely to enter something incorrectly in Excel. But if you don't have the computer handy, uh, being able to do this on a small calculator will make this very easy. Also, the little subscripts of 19 tells me that I'm right on track because Excel told me this was value 19. Okay, so now I've got all my values entered. And I'm going to now hit this stat var button, and it's going to run some calculations. You can see it actually thought for a second. And actually, it gives me several values of importance. This one's kind of obvious. N stands for the number of pieces of data, 23. Okay, if I arrow over X bar, that's your mean, that's your average. So here's the average of my numbers, the same value that Excel gave me. If I arrow over again, this XX, <laughs> that's my standard deviation. So with a mean and a standard deviation, I could answer a lot of questions. That's all we use in my class, uh, but we also have a sigma x value here. We also have a sum, a total sum of all the values, and a total sum of the values squared. You use that in some other statistical calculations if you need it. So I was very interested to learn that you could do this on your calculator. I hope you find that helpful too.